नमस्वा स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास ऑफ क्लास नाइन जोग्राफी स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दिस इज नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ बिफोर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन वी शुड नो वट इज नेचुरल वेजिटेशन नेचुरल वेजिटेशन इज द पार्ट ऑफ प्लांट लाइफ विच ग्रोस इन वाइल्ड विदाउट डिरेक्ट और इन डिरेक्ट हेल्प ऑफ मैन and which easily adapts to the constraints of natural environment in size structure and the requirement in our country india 12 mega biodiversity uh, is one of the 12 mega biodiversity countries of the world so from this line what is the um, biodiversity region biodiversity me region means the region where you can get a different different or a huge um, variety species of flora and fauna india has for uh, for uh, 47000 plant species and among this 47000 plant species there are 15000 flowering plants now in this natural vegetation some vegetations are called also the virgin vegetation now which vegetation are called the virgin vegetation natural vegetations refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undistributed uh, undisturbed by humans for a long time that means forest floor forest is a very good example of the virgin vegetation so why it is called virgin virgin it is called because it is uh, there is no interruption of human in the forest you cannot say that uh, human plant fully just plant some trees because in the forest uh, flora species grow naturally but in the uh, park land or uh, in other some for, uh, other area people used to human being used to plant trees uh, planfully but these are not called the virgin vegetations like uh, tea cultivation is not a virgin vegetation but the forest is the virgin vegetations now the term flora what is the term flora and fauna i have said that biodiversity region means where you can get a, a huge variety of flora and fauna flora means the plant species and fauna means the animal species these are the flora and fauna now the natural vegetation of any region is depend some factors first one is the relief in the relief there is a land in your textbook that land influence the type of vegetation how on the slopy land the type of vegetation on the slopey or the mountainous or the hilly region will absolutely differ from the vegetation which grow on the plain land how i am giving one example in the plain land the tree shapes are normal but in the mountainous or the hilly region you will see that the t shapes majorly in the himalayan regions are in the conical shape why because they uh, try to uh, avoid the snowfall in the hilly region particularly in the himalayan mountainous region all the vegetations are conical in shape why because in the uh, during the winter season snow actually slopes down this uh, through this shape and snow cannot get chance to accumulate on the tree, tree stop because uh, if the snow will deposit it also give a harmful effect on the vegetation but in the plain land there is no snowfall in the northern plain you cannot um, see the snowfall so in the northern plains the trees uh, shapes are normal next the soil soil where is the very fertile soil wetty soil or the dry soil these soils control the characteristics of the soil controls the natural vegetation growth how in the dry region in the air like in the desert region in the air and also in the soil uh, there is a lack of uh, humidity so uh, what will happen due to lack of humidity two 
restore the water which they collect from the ground from, uh, through their root to restore this water plant just transform their leaves into thorns when the plants of desert area transform their leaves into thorn that means the evapotranspiration from their body will become less but if you see the wet area or the region where of high rainfall what will happen there the tree leaves are looks like uh, the normal tree leaves so this is the uh, main thing D depending upon the fertility of the soil also uh, there is a, a growth of natural vegetation now the climate temperature temperature in the himalayan region the temperature is very low so you you will see the alpine vegetations but in the um, uh, northern plain region the temperature is not very low so you, you will see uh, different different type of vegetation so these are the facts uh, land slope um, soil and the temperature are the important uh, fact or important con uh, factors which control the vegetation type now here in this chart there is four column in the first column vegetation zone in the second column mean annual temperature in degree celsius third column mean temperature in january in degree celsius and the remarks in the tropical region above 24 degree celsius and in also the uh, uh, january month that means the winter month of the northern hemisphere it is 18 degree celsius no frost subtropical frost is rare temperate that means high altitude frost some uh, snow and alpine that means the top most level of the himalaya that means kashmir peer panjal range kashmir range these uh, range always covered by the snow and we can find it out the uh, alpine type of vegetation now the photo period or the sunlight the duration of the sunlight also very uh, also have a very uh, important factor to control the natural vegetations the variation or as the duration of the sunlight in different different places also control the growth of vegetations like during the summer season in the uh, northern plain region the uh, some trees um, are become very dry they shed their leaves but in the uh, winter season or in the um, sorry or in the region where uh, you can find it out uh, the sunlight in the photo period actually photo period actually means the duration of the sunlight where the duration of the sunlight is longer they get a good amount of the light source which also uh, also stimulate their growth so this is the main thing in the summer season trees grow grows faster in the summer season trees grows faster and in the winter season uh, when you will follow the trees go, uh, grows tree grows a little bit slower than the summer season now the precipitation we know that precipitation controls a very good Uh, amount uh, in the precipitation in india uh, not only india throughout the world the region which gets a plenty huge amount of the, of the precipitation this is the tropical areas between two tropics here the vegetations green throughout the year that's why evergreen forest develop here and when you move from the tropical to the uh, north pole and uh, so south pole you will get that the precipitations uh, amount always vary precipitation amounts always vary in the uh, desert region due to the less precipitation uh, the density of the vegetation is very low so if you summarize the fact first one is the land the land slope is very important in the slopey land you can find one type of vegetation land without any slope that means the plain land the characteristics of vegetation will be different soil in the fertile soil or in the dry soil also control the characteristics of the vegetation temperature where the temperature is very low 
throughout the year that means snow covered in the alpine himalaya or the topmost level of the himalaya in kashmir region the shapes of the trees are conical but uh, where the temperature is normal the, te the shapes also are also normal photo period during the summer season the region where the duration of the sunlight is uh, uh, long trees grow grows faster like in the tropical evergreen forest actually tropical evergreen forest gets plenty amount of the temperature uh, sunlight plenty amount of the rainfall that's why there is a evergreen nature of uh, vegetation and last one is the precipitation already i have said this precipitation so these are the factor of the natural vegetation this is all for this class now in the second class i shall discuss about the types of vegetations namaskar